my loves, it's your girl, lovely angel lady. L to the A to the L. I decided to come show y'all this little $20 Amazon little bob with bang wig today. So, um, in the midst of doing that, I figured I'll just go ahead and chat it up with y'all. Um, I have some products that I got from Ulta, just a little tiny little a uh, small Ulta haul. It was a, basically a birthday haul because it was a birthday gift uh, for my godmother, which I thank her so much. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Let me pick this um, Ulta box up. So this is the cute little Ulta box. And I'm gonna show you some plastic, y'all. Um, so, I cannot wait to pop these open right here, y'all. These face brushes. These right here are uh, Real Techniques, okay? Real Techniques. I like these and Equal Tools too. They're, they're all nice, um, but these are so soft. And um, these right here are a Flawless Base Set for foundation plus concealer. I love using this one right here for like you know, when you set, use their setting powder under your eye to brighten up under your eye and set that. But yeah, so I got these. And let's see what else. Uh, the next thing I snatched up, I was watching um, one of Dollface Lyrics uh, videos and she just had a birthday too. Happy belated birthday, doll face. Uh, but this is Trailblazer. It's, uh, the shade is by Morphe. It's called Glamour Bronze, okay? Let me show y'all. It's called Glamour Bronze, okay? And I have Trailblazer. And this is what the back looks like. I'm gonna open it up and see what it do real quick. Take it out of the little bubble. My trash is over there, so if y'all see me toss. Um, but it has a little plastic thing there. But this is what the Glamour Bronze looks like in the shade Trailblazer. Let me see if I can like swatch it a little bit on my hand for y'all to see. So, can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, that, so that's what it looked like. Trying to put a little more y'all. Cause I know y'all can't probably see that too good. But um, yeah, I'm trying to. So I got a lot of light right there. Can y'all see that? It's right there on my hand. Okay, so another thing that I got, y'all. Y'all always see me use the 11 because um, that's very, very close to my skin shade. But I got the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer right here. Okay. Um. I needed a lighter shade, like when I'm doing my um, highlighting or whatever on my face, I needed something lighter. So this should be a 14, yeah. The other one I use is 11, so that's closer to my skin tone. The smaller the number, it gets lighter. So um, I I'm, I'm tend to be like in the winter months, I'm closer to caramel shades and then you know, so like I said, the, the 11 is so close to my skin tone. It might even be, it's it's more warm than my skin tone. I have, I actually have a yellow or golden undertones. Um, but yeah, y'all, so uh, let's see. Woo woo. We got some concealer in the right shade to actually brighten up. Um, what's this? We got Elf's uh, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and Brunette. I've actually already been using this. I'm going to keep this one um, 
Well, I might as well just pop it open. It don't matter. Because both of them are going to be used. The other one, I'm sure I've probably used quite a bit of it. But this is what the ultra precise brow pencil looks like. Okay. Um, it has a little spoolie on this end. And then on this side is where the pencil is. And can y'all see like the, the size of that? I don't know why, but I love thin, this, the thin brow pencils like that. They help you like really achieve the look that you want better. Like I feel like with my hands, I have nerve issues and stuff like that. And so my hands can get tingly sometimes. And I've also had surgery on both um, hand, my, both of my wrists for carpal tunnel. I had them both done um, like a year and a half, two years ago. At the same time, y'all. I have to see if I can find a picture to show y'all. When I have both of my hands wrapped up, look like I had dog paws. <laughs> but, um... Ooh, I'm so excited about this, y'all. I love NYX um, Butter Gloss. So I got NYX Professional Makeup Butter Gloss in Praline. That's Praline. And I might as well see if I could just show y'all what Praline look like. Y'all gonna see me wearing this stuff anyway. You know, anti way. We're going to be trying to slay and sis is going to be wearing this stuff in these videos. So, and I got lots of palettes to be creating looks with y'all. So I got to get on the good foot. Okay. So this is crawling. I'm going to show y'all on my hand. I'm going to put it down here because I think it'll be a little easier for y'all to see. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I love that. That praline is gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh, sis. Yes. Yes, best friends. We gonna be cute. Okay, now y'all know I love the continuous setting mist by Morphe. So I got uh, I have to kind of restock on that. So we got a new one. Oops, and we dropping stuff on the floor in the midst of it. Um, we got another NYX Butter Gloss, and I'm trying to open it, y'all, as I'm talking to y'all. But, um, like I stated before, I love, I'm like, I love lip glosses, but these, like, I like the smell. I love the way they get on. They're so buttery and smooth. I have this uh, NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline, Madeline, I guess. I don't know why I thought it was spelled different, but let me show y'all first before I open it. So this is Madeline. Okay. And I'm going to put that above the other one so y'all can see the difference. Oh, this is really pretty. Look at that. So they're more in the um, neutral family. That's definitely a nude shade of butter gloss. And you know, the butter glosses look like butter. Like they have some color, like some pigment to them, but they're nice and moisturizing y'all. Uh, so we got this NYX butter gloss also in cream brulee. Mm. Cream brulee all day. And y'all, my nails be so busted. But these are actually press-ons that I got from Dollar Tree. They just came short like that. But I'm loving it because I just wanted a break from the long ones. The long um, press-ons that I was wearing because I've been working out. And I can work out either way. Like, it doesn't super bother me. But I just have a little bit more flexibility and freedom. Um, I do love the way my longer nails look, though. In terms of the look of it, they're more sassy and sexy as we know it. So this is Cream Brulee NYX Butter Gloss, right chill. And I'm going to show you above the Madeline, the Madeline. This one is going to be more of a 
a pink shade but I love that they're all sort of like neutral so if you want like that natural looking pink lip um, this is really pretty so these are all those three little shades okay I'm super super psyched about that we got NYX um, what is this the NYX professional makeup suede matte lip liner and the shade is in downtown beauty and y'all know I love like brown shades of lip liner because I love to do a whole lot of neutral lips even though I do love color um, on a day-to-day -day basis though you're more likely to catch me in um, a nude lip but sometimes I just feel like being extra and you know I can definitely be extra when I feel like it. Um, so this is NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Downtown Beauty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark this on the side of my hand right here. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a pretty brown. It's like a reddish brown, you know. Reminds me of kind of like a brick shade. Um, here's another one that I saw um, Lyric wearing in one of her videos. She tried it and I was like, I loved it. So I was like, I'm going to try this. Um, I love her channel. So, um, and then we're kind of similar uh, shades and stuff like that. So a lot of products that she recommends or that, uh, you know, she chooses for herself. It's real easy for me to just pick it up and give it a shot because usually if I go with something similar to what she selects, I don't go wrong. Because <laughs> it's been hard, y'all, with COVID. It's been so hard. Um, you know, trying to shop and stuff. I try to do everything online, you know. But um, this is LA Girl matte lipstick it's flat velvet lipstick so it's flat it's by la girl okay and this is what it looks like that way but um this shade is ooh la la okay And we're gonna put this here. It's probably definitely pick up better on the lip, but I'm gonna show y'all on my hand. So right there on my hand is the ooh la la. It's a very pretty nude shade. Ooh -a la la, ooh wee wee. And then, y'all, she's not she uh, doll face lyric was not big on the elf concealer i actually like the camo concealer like it blends out pretty good for me for under my eyes and stuff but everybody is different you know but she did love the camo concealer sponge with other concealers that she uses so i got this because it's you can get all up under there and you know direct it to really blend it out and it looked like it was airbrushed like it was so beautiful like the way it fanned out you know she was like Oop. <laughs> so I was like, we definitely giving it a shot. I had heard other beauties um, try it and they were kind of swearing by it. So I was like, yeah, we're going to have to get this girl right here. But yeah, this is a camo concealer sponge by e.l.f. It's nice and soft. Very soft. I could just, I could just see that, y'all. That's, that's going to be perfect. I'm going to have to get another one of these, y'all. This is gonna be my best friend. So, I've been opening up this stuff as we go. Okay, now, this came as a gift. It says, wake up, make up, sleep, repeat. This is from, um, this is by Real Techniques. It says by Sam and Nick on here. But you just store your makeup and brushes in here, pretty much. See that, can y'all see it? Isn't that cute? But it was a gift 
that I got from ordering what I ordered for my birthday. It's nice and flat, but we're gonna get something going in here, y'all. This will really be cute too, like if you're going out of town. But it's pretty. So we're gonna stick that down here. And then I got another gift because of what I purchased. And this is, um, even though it might not seem like it, y'all, this is a $100 haul, okay? Like, makeup products do not be cheap. Even though I didn't even get some of the, like, most prestigious, you know, makeup, the like, expensive brands and stuff like that. Because I really want to get into getting me some of the Fenty Beauty products. Um, but this is NYX Professional Makeup Matte Finish Finny Spray. Y'all seen me wear this before in a little bit of a bigger bottle. It's like the size of this one, but I keep water in this one. Um, but it's black like this, and it's about that size. Um, so that's a good travel size one. Or a sample, I don't know. This is NYX Professional Pore Filler Primer Base. And I, I don't know how long it's been, but I know a long time ago I tried something, some type of primer that they had, but I don't think I tried this. Um, this right here is the creme brulee and a travel size one. So this one's good for your purse. Creme brulee, see how little, it's so little and cute. <laughs> and then, um, I got this, which is also good for your purse. You can put like a little mini brush in your purse, like, you know, something like this right here, this elf brush. This is a stipple brush, but it's a little small one. Put that in your purse, and then this is the HD Finishing Powder. HD Finishing Powder. It's like translucent, so mineral-based. So y'all, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all really quickly these products that your girl got. And um, yeah, we're going to get it the show on the road i'm just gonna chat with y'all for a little bit while i get myself together and then i'm gonna move on um trying to see if i can open this up y'all i have no idea i'm not good at um, opening stuff up most times I'm going to just use this little scissors I got right here. But yeah, I'm just going to get ready real quick just to look semi-decent for the day. I'm not doing nothing like super special. Keeping it very, very simple today. Um, very, very simple. And I know sometimes I say that and y'all like, yeah, right, LAL. There's nothing simple about you, sis. But really, I mean it. I'm really trying to stick to keeping it simple today. Cause I have lots of other stuff that I need to get done. And I'm a little behind on schedule today. I just created a new schedule to incorporate everything that I need to be doing right now. Oh y'all, this is so pretty. And I love that it has like rubber right here. Oh, nice and soft. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, I'm going to scratch my finger. Okay, this one right here. That's nice. Yep. And then a little concealer one right here. That would be good, like Going down here or going down here. Boop and boop. Yep. Yeah. And then we got this one here. This one's actually cute, you know, to go here as well. Or here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. And a whoop de whoop whoop. All right, y'all. So that's our little mini haul, our birthday haul. Shout out to all my Virgos out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna start off moisturizing my face with Pixie Skin Treats Rose Ceramide Cream today. 
hopefully y'all can see this. Okay. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it super simple. Oh look, my face is so nicely moisturized with that. I love Pixie's products, y'all. They are the business, okay? The bomb.com. Um, well, as usual, I'm gonna get the pencil I was already using. Here's my e.l.f. Um, this is my Ultra Precise Brow Pencil by e.l.f. And Brunette. Just gonna brush these up real fast, y'all. Boop, boop, boop. And I don't want to use a lot of this because sometimes these little glue sticks. This is the Crazy Art washable glue stick, the purple one. I'm going to just use this little glue stick real quick. Uh, like I said, I don't want a lot. Because I don't want it like peeling and looking all cray. So that's enough. That's all I need. Kind of hold those hairs in place a little bit. But yeah, y'all, so I'm gonna just chat it up with y'all for a little bit. Um, so, we just starting off just filling in these brows. Like I said, I'm not doing a whole lot today, y'all. And I really, really, really mean that. Cause I have other stuff that I have to tend to. Um, in addition to creating content today. So how have y'all been doing? Um, so I don't have to look over there the whole time. Put a mirror right here. But um, how have y'all been doing with all of this? All of the changes, you know, that COVID has brought about. Like for me, I feel like we're we are doing okay. The boys are already attending. Um, their school is like a hybrid, you know, program. Um, and so they would do like partially online and then go on campus like a few days a week. Um, one day a week usually or for testing, sometimes twice a week, you know, when they had testing and stuff. But it's so crazy because now those mandatory tests that only could be done on campus are all, everything's at home. So sometimes it's a little tough to come in here in my beauty room and, um, Cause I be wanting to keep an eye on them and make sure they do what they supposed to be doing, not in there goofing around and stuff, you know. Y'all, that's Instagram on my phone. <laughs> and as I stated, I'm trying to keep it like super simple. But yeah, we are sort of finally getting a flow. I just created a schedule uh, last night for myself. That's why I said I'm already behind. Um, because I'm really not used to it yet, so I don't think it's going to take too long to get used to it. But when you have goals and stuff that you need to reach, and things you need to do, it's the best way not only to hold yourself accountable to doing it, to making it happen, but if you map out the time, like if you don't map out the time, it's more chances that, you know, it's negotiable for you not to do it. So you have to pretty much have, you know, the rules set for yourself. Like there are no exceptions to certain goals being reached each day or a certain amount of times a week. And y'all know what I'm saying? So just trying to get myself in order with that. Um, I'm filming again. Um, I think I'm going to be filming now on possibly Tuesdays and Thursdays from the way my new schedule falls. I used to film on Monday and sometimes I film two videos in one day like this actually could be two videos and I'm actually thinking about 
just separating this from the wig review but it wasn't gonna be like per se a wig review I just want to you know put it on and show it to y'all basically what you can get for $20 beauty on a budget yeah y'all like I'm not trying to do anything like I'm not trying to like go over the top today at all so I know if y'all follow me on social media y'all know I've been like working out and I'm doing my weight loss journey which um, I will be doing a video about that um, and not tomorrow but uh, the day after so y'all will want to definitely stay tuned for that video if you've got goals if you just whether you want to uh, lose weight and have been struggling you're tired of yo-yo dieting like me because those results do not last let me tell you sis they do not okay so we did that i'm gonna go ahead and go on with my control freak real fast okay y'all so we got some little hair go bring them up a little bit okay y'all so got our brows pretty much i'm gonna go above them just like on the out part with a little bit darker shade from this adept cosmetics palette I'm gonna take this golden, this uh, Maybelline Fit Me in Golden. It's a uh, 312 golden. And just actually, no, I can't do that yet. I gotta put some. I'm gonna use this Walnut 16 um, Hour Camel Concealer by e.l.f. in Walnut. I'm gonna use that on my lid. I was thinking about not doing that step, but may as well. I'm going to just use a um, foundation brush right here. It's a just a little inexpensive. It, this came from a Queen brush set that I had got off of eBay a long time ago. I like this because it gets it just hurry up and get it done, you know. Make sure the product is nice and even. All right, so we got that. Let's do this one. Okay, now we're going to set this that we have it on our lid. We're going to set it using that Maybelline Fit Me in Golden, 312 Golden. All right, that is nicely done. So, I am going to actually take... I'm gonna actually take this Morphe Glamour Bronze and Trailblazer and apply that on my lid just for a little light color. 
use this little brush right here. This is another plain brush. Any of the little pink ones up from that. <clears throat> yes, bronzer on the lids. <laughs> when you're trying to keep it simple, that is the best way to do it. deepen in the crease area a little bit so I'm gonna use this black radiance contour palette the darker brown shade that looks nice and I'm gonna take this um, e.l.f. blush in Always Rosy and apply some of that. Next, Always Rosy. Okay, so I'm gonna take Hmm. I'm going to take this little um, crown brush right here. Apply some more of that blush on my lid. That is ready. Okay, so now what I want to do is go back in. that brown again the contour shade okay don't take this golden Use this little queen brush right here and go focus right here. This is LA Colors. All right, y'all, so I applied the lashes off camera, but yeah, so now um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use my baby skin, my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser to prime my face. I'm gonna push this up a little bit so we don't get makeup on it. Elf Cinnamon, it's uh, deep with golden undertones. Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in Cinnamon. I told y'all simple today, so that's what I, I'm trying to keep it to. I'm gonna use this. Um, do I wanna use this? I'm going to use this uh, flat top kabuki right here that I got from Amazon. I want to go in with the Juvia's Place Concealer, the I Am Magic in number 14. Shade is 14 and 
we just gonna brighten up a little bit under our eye. Put a little bit there, a little bit there, not too much. There we go, that's enough. <clears throat> Let's get, um, let me definitely use this under my eyes. The e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge it is definitely perfect for getting all up in the corner of that eye. <laughs> Perfection. This is my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This um, loose finishing powder in medium deep. Okay, so we're gonna use that. Yep. All right. I don't know why this. Um, powder looks so bright on camera. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this 355 Coconut Maybelline Fit Me. I'm going to use this powder brush by B. Stope from Amazon. B. Stope brush. Y'all, I, I link these brushes um, in a lot of videos. They're not fancy, but they're very soft. And it just depends on how rough you are with your brushes and stuff. And if you have to use the same brushes, you know, all the time. Because I interchangeably use brushes. But I'm just warming up my face. So I'm going in with this. We're going to go back in with golden. Um, uh, this is golden. I'm going to use that and kind of pat this in here. Pat the cut, pat my setting powder in. I don't know what I keep hearing, y'all. It sounds like some animal eating some nuts or something. Maybe the kids. I don't know. We gotta fix that nose. This is our trailblazer, trail glamour bronze and trailblazer. Um, I'm gonna use an angle brush to apply that. Ooh, wee. Lyric Girl, you wouldn't mind. This is so beautiful. We gotta hit up the forehead region my forehead is not that big but I still love to do this this is so pretty y'all I love it um I'm not done yet so um but let me use this little concealer brush right here um from um real techniques I'm gonna go in the bronzer here and just use that If you darken up under here, it makes like the double chin and be like a little double chin, it makes it less visible. So that's what I like to do. Um, I'm gonna go back in again using this powder brush um, with the product that's already on there, just to make sure 
this looks you know this um, smoky essence eyeliner it's a um, two-in-one cold liner by essence cosmetics I'm going to use this Pop Beauty highlighter in um, Prismatic Pop. Take a fan brush right here. I'm so sore. Alright, so lips are moisturized. Um, so now we're gonna take that um, NYX Professional. Um, this is the Suede Matte Lip Liner in Downtown Beauty. Downtown Beauty. I wanted to say downtown brown or downtown Julie Brown. We are going to use our um let's go in with this um LA Girl this LA Girl um matte lipstick and what color was this again? Ooh la la. LA Girl matte lipstick and ooh la la. I'm gonna use this liquid cat suit by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna use that in Mocha. It is called Give Me Mocha. I'm gonna try the creme brulee. Creme brulee, okay? Let's see if we like that. came out pretty so I'm gonna go grab the wig and we're gonna get that on and we're gonna get this show finished okay we're gonna set our face with this Morphe um, continue setting this okay y'all so I got the wig this wig, it says best design, it gives you the best. I got this wig from Amazon. This is a $20 wig, sis. So, the girl be trying to put y'all on to save those coins. Um, what do they put up in here? Let's see. I don't know if it's El Norado. Is the name of the company El Morato. But there's a little card. Um, oops. No, definitely not. Okay, so El Morato is the name of the company. Uh, they stuck some of those little cheap lashes in there. It's all good. It's the thought that counts. Uh, and a wig cap that I dropped on the floor. So here's the wig cap. They sent me that. I have on a black wig cap because this is a full cap wig, y'all. I love this brown color, it's very pretty. Okay, so let's take the net off. Ooh. So that's how she comes, pretty much. She's gonna be pretty straightforward, y'all. I'm not even trying to do a lot of cutting or anything today. Um, let's just pop this off, right chill, and get this girl on, get this Chico on. Uh, okay, so this is what she looked like here, okay, very beautiful brown. I believe that's dark brown that I have. Um, I'm going to show you the cap 
It's a four cap wig. So here's the front of what you're working with here. She has two combs, a key right here, and then looks like ear tabs. It feels like ear tabs right here. That can be squeezed to fit better. Let's see her stretch. Oh yeah, nice and stretchy. Pretty much standard cap construction. These are the little clips, the little um, adjustable straps. So we're gonna hook those. I'm not putting on a wig grip or nothing like that. I believe she will stay on just fine. Y'all really like this creme brulee. Lips looking all luscious. Y'all, I am a sucker for lip gloss. If y'all know good glosses, let me know. Definitely okay with Oh yeah, so there's no comb in the back. Forgot about that. So there's no comb in the back. So we're just gonna pull her down, pull on her, and I don't want her like too much in my eyes, but I don't want to do no whole lot of cutting. So I'm gonna make sure she sits like way up there. Cause you can't see it no way, okay? Y'all, but when I say put her on and don't really have to do much, like sis, I feel a little like a couple frizzies that I kinda wanna trim out my way. That right there, y'all see that? That was getting all up in the sister's face. And we can't have that. Might have to trim a little bit, I don't know. I feel like it got some stuff going on down here. I'm gonna take this on, um, and it will stick to your lip gloss. I had one little strand that was loving my gloss. Stop loving on my gloss. I'm going to take this um, um, Bobo's Remy Leave-In Conditioning Spray. It's my favorite. It's like, it's not overly shiny or anything. Like, I must say, I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was going to look a little bit more wiggy, like a little bit more cosplay-ish. But you can, you know, rock this. If you are into characters and those type of looks and stuff, and Halloween is right around the corner, I can see some naughty cops and <laughs> even rabbits with bunny ears with this hair. Waitresses. Um, some cat women. You put the little ears on. Okay, so she do got a little skin top part right there. We definitely gotta put something in there real fast, y'all. I'm gonna use that same brush that I had that concealer in. And I just went in with that. And it's just fine. See that? Kinda defines it a little bit. I'm dropping everything. But do y'all see thrown and go? So not only was the look, the makeup quick, um, I mean, it was simple, not necessarily quick. I am getting a little bit of shed in here. I haven't brushed her yet, so let's try to see what happens when we, the net wanna stick to my fingers. Okay, y'all, so. Brushing her a little bit. I think I'm gonna take my little wax stick. Uh, this is my TG, T I G I bed head wax stick. I'm gonna take that to kind of lay the front of these bangs down and to make sure it's laying flat up here. And it won't so much shift all up over the place and all in my face, you know, throughout the day and whatnot. But y'all, this is really straightforward full cap wig. $20. Save you some coins, sis. You can rock a headband with this chick. Okay, little chica. We got a little piece that's a little long, right, y'all? Cut that and get that out of our way. Move. 
get out the way. So that is the one thing that you will have to tend to the bangs a little bit. Ensure that you don't have to walk around with pieces of hair all in your face. All right, me some money. So we got, pull her back a little bit more. Y'all see that? Like it just looks a whole lot more comfy, huh? And you can just, like, you got your makeup done, no problem. Don't want to cover it up, no problem. We don't um, trim a little bit right here. Um, but we can push her like that and do something like that. We could take her on this side if we wanted to and kind of tuck it, but we don't want to look too bald. <laughs> but we can kind of take that and tuck it. She cute though. Um, Pretty straightforward, wavy, loose wave, synthetic, ooh, dropped my earring. Loose wave, synthetic earring. I actually don't even need these on because you can't see them. But let me show y'all. So she's nice and short. I would say probably like, she may be about 10 inches, eight inches. I'd say about 10. She look like she's about 10. And like I said, y'all can push the hair to the side and do something like that more. So if you don't like the hair in your face, you can hairspray it. You ain't gotta rock her all in your face, but you can rock her something like that. Um, if you're not um, ashamed or afraid of your forehead or uncomfortable showing your forehead or whatever, you know, you could rock something like that. She'd be cute like that. Like I really look like Karen. <sighs> Do I look like a Karen with this hair? Do I look like I could be Karen? She looks like she could be a Karen. Everybody I know that named Karen is not <laughs> a Karen like what we say on social media, y'all. But I know some really beautiful Karens inside and out. And I know they don't appreciate that. <laughs> they probably get tired of us on social media. Okay, so, but yeah, so this is pretty much what you get. I'll put the link up and I'll link everything for you below in the description box. I gotta take pics and stuff. And her name is not really Karen. <laughs> I'm just saying that because she does look like a Karen. She looks like she could be called Karen to me. But she cute. Fluff her out just a little bit. But she has like natural sheen. She's not overly shiny. I did get a little bit of shedding. Nothing too serious. Not bad at all for a $20 a week bay, okay? So um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw today, please, please make it official. I need to have you in my life. Join the fam. It's free. It does not cost you anything, okay? You could save your coins in your pocket and then your girl's teaching you how to save more coins because I'm showing y'all how to look fly on a budget. Not everything, you know, sometimes I show y'all some stuff because some of y'all are able to um, spend a little bit when it comes to how you look but you know I do a little bit of everything for everybody but um, mostly mostly everything that I have is pretty affordable but there are good products that are pricey and there are good products that are affordable and uh, wigs too so um, I just believe in you know saving as much as you can when you can but let me stop messing with this hair, y'all. But this is pretty much um, what you get. Uh, like I said, she's pretty straightforward. It ain't much you gotta do. But she is synthetic. And I'll put all the information in the description box for y'all, okay? 
please do subscribe join the fam and also don't forget to tap the alert bell my loves okay because tapping the alert bell is gonna make sure that you ain't missing out on stuff okay when we do these uploads you will be in the know that's importante muy importante okay but all right loves all right my best friends your girl lal is gonna head out i gotta do some pictures um and then i gotta get on social media i got so much to do y'all i'm behind today so gotta go get caught up but um your girl loves you so very much i'm gonna go ahead and get with it and uh, get out of here because i got a lot of stuff to go take care of um, I did not end up using um, anything other than wax and a little bit of weight conditioning spray. Um, and that also will help with like shedding, but she's not like too bad shedding, just a little bit, you know. When I was kind of manipulating her, styling her, you know, chopping a little bit um, of the frizzies in the front. But other than that, it's all good, sis. It's all good. So y'all go chat with me in the comments below. Go follow me on social media. I hope you enjoyed this video and your girl loves you so big. Big, big, big. Your girl Elia loves you. Um, y'all stay safe. Do something positive for someone. And I'll catch you later. Adios, mis amores.